Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and quick update over at the Bakhmut front. At the Bakhmut front, uh, we have some, in fact, some, uh, some information from the south of Ivanivsky with the Ukrainian forces actually making a redrawal uh, from the south of uh, Ivanivsky. Probably, it's not going to go very far. They're probably only going into the, uh, sorry, going, uh, going into the forest line uh, because uh, over in this area here is pretty open. Maybe it's very uh, susceptible to airstrikes and artillery strikes. And uh, as the Ukrainians uh, redraw, the Russians actually uh, quickly take over the positions. And uh, there is uh, also fighting being reported at Ivanivsky. Uh, so probably this is referring to more or less the same thing around here. And uh, there is a prisoner exchange between uh, Wagner forces and the Ukrainian side. With the Wagner's uh, Wagner side re returning Ukrainian uh, servicemen that was captured in Bakhmut, and then the Ukrainians are returning uh, servicemen from other front lines. It seems from we have Ahmad Brigade, the 9th Motorized Rifle Brigade, 155 Brigade of Marines, and there's also LPR, uh, Luhansk People's Republic, uh, serv uh, militias. So it's kind of a very mixed, uh, which also means that the Ukrainians might not have captured much. Uh, POWs within the Battle of Bakhmut uh, because when you look at this, the POWs that they are sending, uh, it comes from uh, other places. And um, there is also, uh, it, it looks like, you know, it looks like, you know, there is from Adyevka front, there's some from uh, uh, Bilohorivka because uh, there is Marines. So I, I I don't follow the units very well. So maybe uh, some other ch uh, analysts will be able to tell you better. But the Marines previously was fighting at Adyevka front. Ahmad, uh, I'm not, I'm not, it's not so sure. Maybe for a long time ago, or they are captured from the Luhans, uh, Luhans side at the Bilohorivka. The militias, uh, definitely is, uh, at the Bilohorivka region. And then we have the 9th uh, Motorized Brigade uh, Division. This might actually be the one fighting on a greater Bakhmut. Uh, and then the Wagner forces uh, previously announced on the 26th of May, they will be entirely out of Bakhmut. There will be no more uh, Wagner forces within Bakhmut on the 25th of uh, 26th of May and uh, on the 25th of May uh, Prigozhin re uh, announced that they are already transferring the positions to the Russian uh, forces so uh, otherwise uh, with this prisoner exchange it does also shows that the front line here is pretty stable now uh, and it's very quiet I see video footages coming from, coming out from Bakhmut uh, do not have any sound of combat or artillery so it looks like the front line here is pretty quiet at this moment. So uh, the Ukrainians are also not launching an uh, offensive uh, that was previously launched on the flanks. So this was no, this, this no longer happening now. So anyway, um, this is a quick update over the Bakhmut front and I'll see you in the next update.